Oh, my gosh. We heard from People Magazine that it was all Ben's idea to move into that huge mansion. Hmm. What now? Well, we heard that Ben had the idea to move into the $68 million ben, mansion. Ben Affleck. Which is not true. Yeah, there was a story in People Magazine that Ben Affleck was the one that wanted that $68 million home. And I'm not buying that for nothing yeah. because we all know j-lo wanted that house if you notice the stories in people magazine a lot of them are j-lo friendly so but yeah it's because her pr people own that magazine it's clear yeah because every story out of people magazine is uh puts her in the best light possible mm -hmm. an inside source says jennifer lopez is quite possibly the most amazing human on planet earth and she was talked into that big mansion because ben needed it Really? His face did not say that at all. I just don't see that at mm -hmm. all. But, yeah. hey, you know, maybe people will believe it and they'll be Team J-Lo. I mean, you got to pick a side. You do? Yeah. I, you have to my side, side is truth and American democracy. Oh, my. Okay. And blind items. Yeah. See, I don't know what the right there is. on that dude's shirt, right there. See that, that shirt? Dude. Hey, dude. Do you have any hey, blind items dude. for us? <laughs> um, let me go ahead and just read the first blind item okay. um, oh. that I wasn't even going to bring up mm. because it was so unbelievable. Mm -hmm. The A-list, everything in her mind, celebrity seems to be in a different universe sometimes. She's the one who was desperate to buy that house they ah. bought. The actor slash director thought it was too big and too expensive. Yes. I told you. Yeah. That's right. Again, I think the blind items uh, agreed with yeah. what the logical we wrote that one situation. <laughs> you must have. I just, yeah. No, it's just so obvious yeah. when you see People Magazine up yeah. to their old tricks. We got to figure out who else her publicists represent and then see if they get favorable articles in People Magazine, Maybe. you know? Yeah. Because there's money. There's probably mm -hmm. money involved, don't you think? Oh, I don't think it's money so much as access, and access oh, turns into sure. content, and content turns into money, advertising, et cetera. You don't need to be that. Like, I'm sure there's no, like, full-scope PR uh, PowerPoint presentation that's been printed out and put on somebody's office cubicle. It doesn't need to be that overt, is my point. That was a reference, by the way, to the Taylor Swift, <laughs> Travis Kelsey contract that allegedly made its way yeah. to the internet. <laughs> Yeah. Which is not true. Let's ready to do some blind items. Some Finally. real ones this time. Yes. All right, let's do some real ones this time. Maybe you want to be edgy, but this A-list group decided to make its long-awaited return by betting on a singer from the cult who publicly supported the serial sexual assailant. Bold move. No. Maybe they wanted to be edgy, but this A-list group decided to make their long-awaited return by betting on a singer from a cult who publicly supported the serial sexual assailant. Bold move. Can I ask, is this uh, comeback been announced? Yep. Okay, so it has nothing to do with like One Direction or something. It does not have anything to do Lincoln with... Is it Linkin Park? Yes, it is. Is there a new female singer? Yeah. Is she a Scientologist? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know she was a Scientologist. Weird. Not only okay. is she uh, very active, according to the blind items, and actually just according to pictures of her at Scientology galas, but she also was at the trial of Danny Masterson. Oh, oh my God. In support. Well, what? I mean, the church supported him. They, the church did support him. Oh, my God. Yeah. She's Who is this person? Emily, something. Emily Armstrong. She was the lead singer for Dead Sarah, and now she is going to be the lead singer for, or I shouldn't Dead say lead. Shelley. She's going oh. to be one. Oh. <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> what? My Shelley God. Shelly Miscavige is missing. Yeah, People but suspect let's hope dead. she's not dead. Well, Nobody suspects she's hold. dead. That was a... <laughs> Record scratch Jeez. right there moment. Of course, uh, yes, she will be one of the vocalists. Um, Mike, uh, uh, what's his name again? Mike Rinder. Shinoda will be one of oh. the singers like he always has been, but she's going to basically be stepping in. And she's actually, they did a they did a count up clock, and then they did a count down clock, and then they did a count up clock. It was bizarre. And then they but brought they, some cans out and made him hold them during the show. Yeah. <laughs> they did a long... Uh, Show yesterday where they announced a new album that's going to be coming out in the middle of November, a new tour that's going to be happening. They played a bunch of their classics with her being the uh, Chester Beddington uh, replacement. And then also uh, they dropped a new single with her heavily involved. I really enjoyed the music. Didn't love to see this blind item. but Yeah. Uh, and uh, 
it, it's hard when you know things yeah. to appreciate pop culture on some levels mm-hmm. because once you start to read the blind items, you're 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 the person at the party who's constantly cue up that sad trombone. They're like, oh, somebody will say, hey, did you see that story about that Taylor? I love that Taylor Swift, and you're like, actually, Taylor Swift is a robot. And they go, thanks for ruining my day. <laughs> Yeah, you just become that person at the party. So I don't go to parties anymore. <laughs> don't that yeah. person. Going to parties requires someone to actually ask us. It doesn't happen that often. <laughs> so there you go. So we yes. have our party right here, Monday through Friday, <laughs> on Blinded by the Item. Click and like and subscribe. Let's roll on and do another blind item here. We move on to this one. The biggest concern for this championship team is that the political divide that's taking place in the stands doesn't bleed over to the field. It was on full display last night and could be the actual reason for a split down the road for the world's most annoying couple. Mm. <laughs> and this writes itself. It okay. does. Don? Uh, this is uh, the Chiefs. Uh, yeah. yeah. And it is Taylor Travis Swift. and Taylor. And Travis Kelsey. And then, and then you got Brittany Mahomes in there. That's, that's the <laughs> other part, too. One yes. of these kids is doing her own thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's not the only one, I'm sure. And yeah. If you want, you can throw Harrison Butker in there as well, because oh, he's yeah. on that same team. So yeah. lots, uh, lots of moving parts for the team that Taylor Swift is but currently very much associated with. Isn't, like, the whole thing about sports, though, that it's like, it don't matter, because we're all just coming together to watch the good old American sport. That's the way it should be, and that's the mm-hmm. way it usually is in it locker rooms. It usually is, right? Yeah, 100%. There's yeah. a lot of people with differing backgrounds and differing... It's like the political. one last place. I mean, even pop culture, it's it's kind of iffy. We're still, I think, most of the time yeah. able to have our, our uh, parties together. But Yeah, definitely. And by that, I mean like parties, not political parties. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and fill in the blind items. parties were not invited to. Exactly. (laughs) The uh, biggest concern for the Chiefs is that the political divide that is taking place in the stands doesn't bleed over to the field. We'll get to that part in a second. It it was on full display last night and could actually be the reason for a split down the road for the world's most annoying couple. Again, some of those shots. The world's most annoying couple (laughs) seems really like cheap. That hurts me. But um, again, we're talking about uh, last night. Taylor Swift, of course, was at the game. She was in a suite, but unlike she has been in the past sitting right next to Brittany Mahomes. Brittany Mahomes was in a completely other suite. This again was two days after oh. Donald Trump said, thank you for your support, Brittany yeah, Mahomes. Yeah, she went in hard yeah. on that. I think, though, it's and been interesting that Taylor hasn't done the same in whatever way she wants yeah. to do, and I'm curious if that's going to happen. I know there's been a lot of conversation around it. I I, I mean, Taylor's just going to do what Taylor's just going to do, and I don't think she'll bow to any pressure one way or the other, but I'm curious to see if that will include some sort of vocal mm-hmm. political statement this year. Yeah, I wonder what they assessed after four years ago as far as like her PR team and, you know, it has a lot to do with that. And if you watch uh, Miss Americana, that yeah. is definitely something that very much was in her <laughs> Yeah. mind and in her like what, what do we do how do we attack this i don't want to be somebody who doesn't say anything about my beliefs but and about yeah but i also want to make sure i'm still available and everybody likes and wants well, she's to also, like my music and she's also dating someone who i don't know what their politics are and what their family's politics are and what the community's po- i mean what i'm saying is she's wading into territory that might yeah. be kind of sensitive for her and so she might choose to be like you know what I'm just not going to go there. Yeah. I mean, again, it's she's a grown-ass woman. Mm-hmm. I don't think she'll let anyone else pressure her into doing something or not, but whatever she decides to do remains to be seen. And that is as deep as we wade into politics. Let's yes. move on to another blind item. We'll move on to this one. The reinvention uh, continues for this foreign-born A-list comic slash actor. He's apparently filed paperwork to start his own church. The length some people will go to run from their past. A comedian who's starting a church? Yes, the reinvention of uh, this per- individual continues. A foreign-born A-list com- com- comic oh. slash actor has filed paperwork oh. to start his own church. The length some will go to run from their past. Uh, is this Katy Perry's ex? Yeah. Who's that? Oh, you know. Ro- Russell Brand. Russell Brand. There but isn't know. he like an atheist? No, he was recently baptized. Yeah, no, he. Oh, did he find Jesus? He found Jesus. He found him. Mm Mm-hmm. Because he was missing. 
he found him. he was kind of persona non grata. Yep. For so he was good like, reason, because he had all those sexual assaults. Well, that's what I'm uh, saying. So interesting that Jesus just happened along at this. Jesus is very convenient that way. Thank you, he Jesus. Is. The reinvention continues for Russell Brand as he has apparently filed paperwork to start his new or start his own church. The link some will go to run from their past. Oh boy, there's a lot of narcissism in that. Who else start started their own church? Kanye. Yes, thank you. Jesus. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Just well. saying. <laughs> I mean, not everybody's a narcissist. It's true. I don't think we think Jesus. Do you think Jesus is a narcissist, Tom? I mean, if anybody has the right to be, I guess it's Jesus. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll have to ask our religious well. friends. Leave us a note in the comments. <laughs> My mom's going to show try up. To get rid of, try to get away from politics, and we go into religion. Look Mike, at you, what are we doing? We're floundering in politics and religion. What's the other thing we shouldn't talk about? Uh, how about drugs? I mean, okay. This A slash A minus list mostly movie actor is back doing drugs and hitting the bottle the way he used to, and he's back to his horrible ways that saw his career nearly flame out when it happened last time. So we've got an A slash A minus list mostly movie actor who's back to doing drugs and hitting the bottle like he used to in uh, the old days, and uh, when that happened, he nearly saw his career flame out. Did he fall? He fell. Like, fall down? Like down the on stairs? The ground. Oh, did we see him fall? I don't yeah. know about that. Okay. It's, Who, not, it's not our beloved Zach Efron. It is not okay. Zach Efron, no. He had the pool incident. Yeah. yeah. No. Not not Zach. Um this I mean it's not uh Robert Downey Jr. Nope. Charlie Sheen? Nope. A list actor. A slash A minus list actor, uh, mostly movie actor, is back doing drugs and hitting the bottle like he used to back when he nearly saw his career flame out. Does he like to happened. eat people? Uh, he does not like to eat people <laughs> or fantasize ever. about eating okay. people. Brad Pitt? Oh, that would be sad. Oh. I mean, it's sad regardless. Yeah. 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 Gosh. And, and uh, yeah, we okay. must have known do about we, it. Do we, yeah. Have we talked about this person's foibles in the past? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Jamie Fox. Somebody's drinking. Drinking a dram of whiskey. Um, Jude Law. Um, Have they been in superhero movies? Uh, they. No. Hugh Grant. Not a superhero movie. I can't recall a superhero a franchise movie. of any kind. Uh, yes, a franchise like a James Bond. Um, not James Bond, but like an actiony franchise. A very high-grossing actiony franchise. Oh, Vin Diesel. Nope. This is a foreign-born actor. Nope. Oh, okay. Actually, two gigantic franchises. Two gigantic franchises. Uh huh. Actiony ones. Two oh, gigantic actiony franchises. Like that heist one. What's the heist one? Ocean's, Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. Nope. Um, uh, Smokey and the Bandit. Oh my God. This one involves aliens that are also robots. Will Smith. Oh. Aliens that are also robots. Blade Runner. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Gosh. This Aliens is... that are also robots. There aren't many of those franchises. Oh. Oh. Um... Clones. But you likely knew of these well before we saw this franchise. We knew the robots. When we were younger. Battlebots, Transformers, Shia LaBeouf. There you there go. There you go. Nicely done. Of course, he was also in Indiana Jones. More uh, that meets the eye. Yes, uh, according to the blind item, uh, Shia LaBeouf is back to uh, doing drugs and hitting the bottle the way he used to be when his career nearly flamed out last time. This is on the heels of the fact that he was yelling at people outside an Edinburgh pub to square up and fight him. Oh, my God. Well, let's be fair. What a disaster. Many people. Have done the same thing in their life. That's true. Outside an Edinburgh pub. Yeah. Lots of stuff happens. People get real lippy and throw punches. Have you been there? No, I just know oh. that it's a very drinky place. Mm -hmm. There's wow. lots of pubs there. Um, So, I yeah, this is dangerous, actually. 
He's dangerous whenever he's a drinker. Yeah. Yeah. This is not good news. He needs to get some help. And yeah. we wish him luck. Yeah. We, we wish no, him luck and we wish him Goth all the best. Luck. We wish him all the best mm-hmm. and luck. It's not the good luck to him. No. It's, no. We really we do wish, wish him, him luck. All mm-hmm. the best. Even though we I don't s- think he's a great person. May you find Jesus. Jesus. As for Russell Brand, he apparently found him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Don't find Jesus. Find a meeting. I mean, like, do something that'll <laughs> actually help your <laughs> yes, drinking. Yes. I mean, Jesus, you might find at the meeting, sure. but you got to get to the meeting before you find the Jesus. Yeah. It's a long story. I've been there. It's fine. Speaking of horrible people, let's move on to this one. We're just going to, like, segue into segue. Here we go. The real reason for the buzzed about upcoming docuseries is so the streamer can pin all the problems of the industry they just got in bed with on one man. Don't get me wrong, he's an awful human, but this is an absolute hit piece to show how much better the company is now than they used to be. Oh. Somebody's so bad. The real reason for the buzzed about upcoming docuseries is so the streamer can pin all of the problems of the industry all on one man, this industry that they recently got in bed with. Don't get me wrong, he's an awful man, but this is an absolute hit piece to show oh. how much better the company is now than it used to be. Mm, okay. Is this some sort of AI thing? Nope. Oh. Um, We've got a streamer. A streamer? We've got a buzz about docuseries from a streamer trying to pin all the problems of a certain industry that that streamer just got in bed with on mm. one man. Uh, the streamer and got the in man. bed with this industry. Yeah. Um, this... Uh, Spotify and podcasts? Nope. Joe Rogan? Okay. Uh, uh, it's a docu-series from docu-series. a streamer. Netflix? There you go. Okay. So the real reason for the buzz about upcoming docu-series is that Netflix can pin all the problems of the industry they just got in bed with on one man. Don't get me wrong, he's an awful human, but this is an absolute hit piece to show how much better the company is now than it used to be. Is it something with sports? Um, Adjacent? Sports oh, adjacent. sports betting. No. Damn. Uh, sports. Olympics. Sports. Entertainment. Spen- oh, that sports NFL entertainment. show? Or sports that- entertainment is a very wrestling for a specific wrestling. industry. Wrestling. Oh, oh Vince right, McMahon yes. because of all that oh, cockamamie. You got it. Reputation Threesomes laundering. And just disgusting behavior. Well, they're just, that's what they're trying to do is launder their own reputation. They're like, oh, whoops. The real reason for the upcoming Mr. McMahon documentary on Netflix is to pin all the problems of the wrestling industry on one man because they recently got in bed with WWE. Now, don't get me wrong. He's an awful man, Mm -hmm. but it's an absolute hit piece to show how much better WWE is now that they Uh, just made a $5 billion deal with them than they used to be. It's all good now since we own it. Laundering. Um, $5 billion. Don't forget that. Billion. With a B. I just want you to all understand something. Yeah. You you do know this, but the listeners. This is... uh, Where was I going? It's Friday. It's okay. What was I talking about? Where am I? Uh, Vince McMahon. No, just this whole like, ah, yes. Okay, now I got it. Because whether it's Me Too or Vince McMahon, anytime there's one of these problematic people and it like blows like an entire industry wide open or a business or something, the lesson that we always learn is that this is so much bigger than just one person. Vince McMahon was just the catalyst. And look, I don't know this particular story, but I'm just going to extrapolate from the little that we know and the other stories that we've heard, whether it's Harvey Weinstein, Matt Lauer, Kevin Spacey, Michael Jackson, Bill Cosby. I mean, we could be here all day just listing yeah. examples. It is typically because that one person then had an entire group of people and like a system that built out from there. Definitely. Supporting, aiding and abetting and, cult, you know, nurturing a culture that was toxic and problematic. And to think that whatever problems that wrestling, and I don't know this world as much as you do, Mike, certainly, and Don, I'm sure as well, that uh, it doesn't really matter because yeah. if we've seen it once, we've seen it a hundred times. There's probably a lot of rotten wood in that um, log infrastructure. What? Yeah. A lot of rotten wood in that log? Or, yeah, I'm just thinking, like, if you were looking at a house that had termites. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, because in Our some of the ac- are getting mixed accusations, up. it involved sex with groups of people that are in the rest well, of the world. Well, it just takes it takes a village to um, nurture a psychopath slash Definitely, narcissist. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 
Or sociopath is Oof. what I meant, not psychopath. And we've seen... Uh, I don't think Vince McMahon was a serial killer that we know of. And we've seen uh, some of those individuals already be shown the door. The problem is mm -hmm. some of them that are the closest to him, like his daughter and his son-in-law, are still calling all the shots. Yeah. So it'll be very interesting to see lots uh, more to come. But again, in that trailer for the docuseries, we saw everything from the steroid trials that almost got him in prison back in the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. Like, there, that's not talked about. Like, he was one step away from potentially mm -hmm. going to jail and never creating what he did uh, to even the horrific situation around a guy like Chris Benoit, not to mention now the sexual assault allegations that happened mm -hmm. on top of it at the end. There is a lot that this docuseries is apparently going to dive into. And uh, according to the blind items, it's uh, going to not paint him in the best light. Although he is interviewed in it. Like, he's a big part of what we've seen in the trailer is him talking. Oh my interesting. Gosh, which is very, really? very interesting. I think the end of September is when that one's coming. September okay. 25th. There you go. Like, yeah. So, we'll see. Uh, Blind Item basically saying that uh, it's uh, Netflix trying to wash their hands clean of some of those past Ooh. controversies now that they now that five we, billion dollars. Now that we own it and yeah. the rights to stream yeah. it. I mean, you do, now it's better. Yeah. Yeah. That you feels, do have to wonder, like, hey, guys, isn't this going to, isn't this stink going to rub off on us? Yeah. You better hope not. Let's see if this stink will rub off on us. Let's move it on to another one. When you know your upcoming project, it will absolutely bomb, regardless of whether it's good or not. It's usually a good time to leak that you are also working on an additional installment of a beloved franchise that everyone will get behind. That's exactly why we got the news that we did yesterday from these longtime A-listers. Oh, okay. So when you know your upcoming project is going to absolutely bomb, regardless of whether it's good or not, it's usually a good time to leak that you're also working on a project to have an additional installment of a beloved franchise that everyone will get behind. That's what these longtime A-listers did yesterday. So this is not George Clooney bringing back Facts of Life? Um, you're half right. George Clooney and Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt and Wolves. No. Well, yeah, but what's yep. the franchise that they're bringing back? I don't know. Did you guys not hear the news yesterday? No, obviously. Ooh, Wait, no, okay. Us. Think about it, Don. You uh, got to guess. Okay. Were they in it? Oh, ER. Brad Pitt wasn't in the ER. No, no. Oh, that was oh no Oceans. Oh, Oceans 14 oh. is apparently in the works. And you know who's directing it? Rumor has it. Ooh. The guy from All Quiet in the Western Front, the um, uh, Burger, what's his first name? Something Burger. You know that new, uh, the Netflix All Quiet in the Western Front from Bacon two years ago that was fantastic? Yeah. Um, he's rumored to be directing Ocean's 14. Okay. So uh, that's kind of uh, interesting. But again, that news... Um, Edward Berger, by the way, is being courted to potentially join the cat or join the uh, crew there. But uh, as the blind item says, when you know your upcoming project, Wolves will absolutely bomb, regardless Wolf. of if it's good or not. It's a good time to leak that you're also working on an additional installment of a beloved franchise that everyone will get behind, aka Ocean's 14, and that's what the uh, team and uh, George Clooney and Brad Pitt did yesterday. Yeah, that makes sense that they'd be like, well, you know, you know, a good way we could get people talking. Yeah, and make some money off of a franchise that we know is a sure thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Well, well good luck to them. I don't the care about this. Really wolf's. What is this mean. Wolf's movie about? Wolf's? Wolf's. It's called Wolf's. Is it not Wolf's? No, it's called Wolf's. It's Wolf's. It's W L F S. W O L F S. Wolf's. It's not Wolf's. It's Why? Wolf's. Why? It's, because if it was called Wolf's, nobody would go to it. Oh, wait, nobody's going to it now either. Wolves? Wolves? Wolves. But what's it about? They're like, um, I think, rival, rival like Hitman or something. Wolves. Oh, God, that's never You've been never done. seen that movie before. But why wouldn't okay. they just call it Wolves? That's what I want to know. Wolves. Because, oh, I bet you it's because they're each a lone wolf. So oh, because you can't have lone together, wolves. Together, they're both alone lone wolves. Wolf. So they're wolf. wolves. Minnesota. It's an action comedy wolves. written by John wolves. Watts about professional fixers forced to work together on a job despite their preference to operate as lone wolves. Mm. Wolves. Lone wolves. Wolves. We won't say it again. Promise. I wish you would. It did get Continue. us saying the words a lot. So, I mean, from a purely strategic I standpoint, mean, yeah. whoever and was at the PR firm 
gets a ding. In addition to the two of them, Richard Kind's in it. Um, mm-hmm. Also, Did Amy, like those bars, Amy Ryan, both, by the way, in the, in the new season of um, Only Murders, Amy Ryan and Richard Kind. But then uh, Frances McDermott is in this as well. Oh, McDormand. God. McDormand. Um, by the way, can we just love on the current season of Only Murders? So good. So good. Have you watched it yet, Don? No, I forgot that it came out. Remember? You got two remember episodes. Remember that I forgot? These okay. first two episodes. You, want, you forgot and you want me to remember that you forgot. Please, That's too much, girl. I please can't. Help please help me. It's the, it's the best please. start to a season of Only Murders we've had yet. Really? It's so much fun. Okay. So I really loved it's last so season. Great. You're going to love, You'll love, love it. this season. Okay. Just like we love every episode of Blinded by the Item, which Mike brings to us every weekday on the radio, on my talk, uh, wherever you get your podcast, because we're on a podcast, too. And yeah, this we're, on, is it. we're on the YouTubes. So we've got our very own YouTube channel where you should be liking and subscribing and telling all your friends about Blinded by the Eye. Look at that sexy shirt. Wolves. Bye. Blinded by the Item. Item. Item.